Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. I just want to share something with you. I decided to put my grapevine, as you can see right here. I'm going to let it trellis this way and let it trellis that way, and I have two of them. So I decided to pull one out of its container because it didn't match the color. I know it's annoying, right? I want to want it to match, but guys, I'm not happy with what I saw. I'm about to show you guys. And let me put the camera down so you guys can see this. So I pull this. Can you guys see that? I pulled it out of the red container so I can put a black container so it matches. And I ended up seeing these disgusting, ugly looking maggots. They're huge. They're not maggots. They're called June bugs. I mean, they're called ground uh, ground worms, I believe. Oh my God. I don't know if you can see that. Here, get a little closer. Guys, I'm so grossed out. Look at that. Um, damn, Chesty <laughs> nearly hurt me. So I did some research. I looked it up. I wanted to see what's going on with this thing. And apparently what, what these are are June... Watch out, Chesty. Chesty, move. Sorry, Chesty's over here trying to nibble at me. Um, June bugs lay their eggs at the beginning of May. And then these ugly looking maggots, ground worms end up coming into your pots and they end up living in your pots or underneath the ground and eat all the roots of all the good good roots so your plant would definitely die after a season because chesty stop sorry i have gloves on and he thinks i'm playing with him and um so <laughs> I'm going to remove all of these. I had already put it in there. Chesty. Um, so I just wanted to share this with you guys. They only lay their eggs in soil that is well drained. So that has nutrients in it and all the good stuff that your plants like. So if you're doing a good job, it's definitely going to um, lay its egg in your soil. They are attracted to the, um, the light at night. So if you leave a light on at night, um, the June bugs will be attracted to it and then eventually find a nice soil good with, good, um, with some good nutrients and end up laying its eggs and then laying these nasty little things in there. So I'm going to remove them. I'm so glad that I decided to repot this grapevine and move it out of its container because I would have never known those were there. I would have been wondering why is my grapevine dying and I would have never known because these become June bugs in around June as the name says it and then I would have never known what happened so I'm definitely going to remove them. I'm pretty grossed out because guys I don't like um, bugs even though I like gardening and um, I had already put it in there and I decided to just pull it out and see if I had left any behind because I had it in when I realized that these bugs were there. I only noticed it out of the container that I took it out of. And as you can see, they're all in there. See? But then I, I repotted the grapevine and I was like, you know what, guys? Uh, I feel like there's more on that soil. So I pulled it up and as you can see, there is more. I hope they're not all over the soil like in in the soil i hope they're only at the bottom of the soil because oh my god it's disgusting because um i don't want to break apart this root ball that's taken a year to grow all right guys i just wanted to share this information with you in case you are feeling defeated because your plants are dying it might be because you're doing a great job and june bugs lay their eggs and they're eating the roots of your plants which is something i just learned i literally just researched all of this before i made this video i hope that it's helpful to you guys and i hope that if you ever see this you know what they are and you know what to do with them um get rid of them apparently there is a product you can put on your on your um on your soil every may that way it kills these little bugs and it's i don't know if it's organic i have to look into it but based on the information i looked up um it just it kills these bugs it's safe for pets and it's safe for humans so yeah this is what i'm dealing with guys 
if you guys have ever encountered these bugs um, and you guys know any more information please share them in the comments down below in case anyone else sees this video and maybe I left some facts out you guys can teach us something else all right guys well this is me today doing my gardening and encountering something new and learning something new every day I hope this is helpful to you guys I hope you guys have a blessed day make the best out of it and I'll talk to you guys in the next one gross <laughs> bye guys <laughs> okay guys so when I decided to go ahead and check the bottom of the root ball I highly suggest that if you guys do encounter these bugs that you shake the heck out of that root ball because I was so surprised how many of them were in there so I decided just to nearly take all the soil off this root ball so you can see because they were way in there guys don't just take the ones from the bottom which was what I was going to do literally shake the heck out of your root ball because they are hiding in there where all the roots are in because they're feeding off of it look at how much soil I took out I'm gonna um, refill that and look at those bugs see them guys they were all over the soil they are disgusting looking they're in there you can see one moving so I was gonna finish my video earlier just giving you that information but once I went in there and realized how many of them were in there I really just wanted to give you the advice of making sure that you guys shake the heck out of your root ball and really 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 um, get all of them out of there because <laughs> I thought there was only a few and once I started shaking that thing they were like it was loaded guys it was loaded with these ugly things all right guys now for sure i'm gonna say goodbye i hope you guys have a blessed day and i hope you guys never encounter these ugly little bugs all right make the best out of it and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye